Hey skincare fam, if you've ever looked in the mirror and wondered what type of acne do I have, then you're not alone. Today we're diving into the different types of acne so that you can identify what's going on with your skin and tackle it like a pro. So let's get started. First off, acne isn't just one size fits all. It comes in different forms, each with its own unique signs. So whether you're dealing with whiteheads, blackheads, or those pesky cysts, there are reasons behind them. So let's break it down. First, we're going to start with whiteheads. The classic small bumps that appear when hair follicles are clogged with oil, dead skin cells, and bacteria. These little guys stay under the skin creating that white raised appearance. They are stubborn but usually manageable with the right products like gentle exfoliants and salicylic acid. Next up we have blackheads. Now these form when your pores get clogged but instead of staying under the skin, the material inside oxidizes, turning it dark. It's not dirt, it's just oil and debris reacting with oxygen in the air. You can target blackheads with exfoliation and pore clearing masks. Next, we have papules. Now, these are red inflamed bumps that don't have a head like whiteheads or blackheads, but they're usually a sign that your skin is reacting to clogged pores and bacteria, and they might hurt a bit. Topical treatments with benzoyl peroxide can help to reduce that redness and inflammation and also helps to control bacteria. Next, we're going to look at pustules. Now, these are the ones that you love to heat. These are similar to papules, but with a white or yellow center that is filled with what we call pus. They can be painful and while you might feel tempted to pop them, don't. Popping can lead to scarring and you can also spread bacteria. Instead, try spot treatments or consult a dermatologist for a treatment plan. Then we have nodules. These are deep, painful bumps that are under the skin. Now these are more serious and can take some time to heal. They don't pop easily but they can leave behind some serious scars. If you're dealing with nodules, it might be a good idea to see a dermatologist for stronger treatments like oral medications or professional facials. And finally, we have cystic acne. Now, these are the largest and most painful acne bumps that form deep under the skin. They often look like large red or purplish lumps and they can hurt like a And they also bruise. Cystic acne needs more serious care. Think medications or even a consultation with a dermatologist for the best solution. So naturally, now that you know the different types of acne, how do you treat them? Well, the key is consistency. You can start by seeing a dermatologist and to get your skin checked and treated accordingly. A dermatologist will be able to provide you with a detailed plan and may even help to explain the underlying issues that are causing your acne. Remember that everyone's skin is different so don't be discouraged if it takes time to find out what works for you. Thanks for hanging out and for learning about acne types with me today. Remember that here at Sassily Skin we do our best to help you understand and take care of your skin. Help us to keep helping you by subscribing and hitting that notification bell and remember that happiness is a habit just like skincare.